Hi, this is Chris Cox from Boulder Insight. Uh, this is part two in our three-part series on how to build donut charts. Uh, this one is going to focus on how to build a donut chart if you have, have uh, multiple measures. So let's jump right in to looking at the steps involved in this. There's 11 steps to build the chart, six to format, and six to bring the view into your dashboard and, and uh, make it useful. Starting from a blank worksheet, um, I think the fastest thing to do is to double click either measure names or actually measure values. Um, this is going to get you a, a good good way there. Um, I like to take the two that I'm going to use and drag them to the top. So I'll take profit and sales and drag those to the top. Then I can click the next one in the list, hold down shift and click the last one so it selects everything so I can easily drag everything off. So now that I've got my two measures in place and I got measure names and measure values in play, um, I can look at the show me chart and see that pi is actually grayed out. So we can't use the same method we did before. Uh, we have to do something a little bit, a little bit different. So in this option, you have to click your drop, uh, your marks card drop down, and choose pi. And then from here, you simply want to take your measured names, drag it into the color shelf, and take your measured values and drag it into angle. And that's going to create that pi for you. Um, at this point, I like to click my size uh, shelf and drag to the second point break that Tableau, Tableau provides. Here we need to duplicate the graph. The easiest way to do that is to double click your row shelves and to type in a calculation. I like to use minimum of one. Uh, when you hit enter, that's gonna create uh, this, this calculated field. If you wanna save that to use later, you can drag it to your measures and now it's gonna sum right there and we'll go ahead and use it now. So we'll drag it and we'll duplicate that chart just by dragging it um, um, another another time. What this is also done for us is create two different marks cards, one for my uh, top graph and one for my bottom graph. Click on the second or the last one and then just take everything off and you'll get a little gray circle here at the bottom. Then all we need to do is on the same marks card, click your size shelf and make the size a little bit smaller than your top one. Now in order to overlay that circle on top of your pie chart to get that whole, whole donut effect, you right click your second pill and choose dual axis. Now uh, it's always a good best practice to right click your right ac axis and then do synchronize. And then now we need to start doing, doing some formatting to make this look good when we bring it into our dashboard. The first thing I would do is right click on our left axis and uncheck show header. Then um, right click the body of your graph and choose format. From here, I'm going to start with the uh, borders, and I want to get rid of the grand total, the row, row divider, as well as the column divider. Now I want to click on lines, and for my sheet, I want my grid lines to be none, as well as my, 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 my zero lines, and the same thing for rows. Now we need to think about where this is going to be placed. We saw from looking at the dashboard we're heading toward, um, it's got a dark background. I have already grabbed the, the color I'm going to need from, from my style guide that I'll show you in the next screen. And now I'm going to color the background of the sheet to match. The last thing we need to do is recolor that gray um, in the circle so it matches the background so it looks like it's a hole. So just click your uh, bottom uh, marks card choose color and we're going to select the same color we did for the the, uh, the uh, background now to bring this into your dashboard um, so we have we have here 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 this tableau template as I was saying I have a style guide over here on the right that gives me the colors for the graph areas that's how I chose what color to, to, to use and with tableau templates we also have uh, containers set for you so you can just drag and drop your views and they go in the right spot exactly hide your title and now that snapped into place um, I have a measure that I want to put inside my donut hole, hide my my title again, and uh, this one I'm going to choose to profit ratio. So there we have it. And now everything is already in place. My, my graph should work as as expected and go from there. 